Neil Carlson here with an update on Brian Filippi. He's the Grand Forks man we told you about last weekend who chained himself uh, symbolically to the uh, Kennedy Bridge up here. The bridge that spans be over the Red River between East Grand Forks, Minnesota and Grand Forks, North Dakota. Well, I just talked with uh, East Grand Forks Chief of Police Mike Headland, who says around 1.40, uh, Filippi was told to uh, take down his uh, structure of tarp and wire uh, up on the bridge here where it uh, gave him some shelter from the cold. Uh, he was told that uh, Filippi agreed. Uh, then a, oh, a bit later, uh, I saw him on uh, Facebook doing a little live thing saying, uh, that he plans to, uh, after he takes the structure down, return and chain himself to the bridge without the structure there. So, just coming up on the area now, his police are by there, and as you can see, they are uh, taking it down. Uh, Filippi uh, said he wanted to, uh, there you can see him taking it apart, taking it down. North Dakota uh, Highway Patrol there on the scene. So, uh, and as I said, uh, Filippi then in a uh, Facebook post uh, after talking, initial uh, talking to the Highway Patrol there, said he was going to return after he got all the uh, tarp and things taken down and chained himself to the bridge. Um, he was hoping to have a rally on the bridge on Wednesday. Uh, when uh, Congress is set to approve the elect Electoral College uh, presidential vote. So, uh, at least uh, the structure for Brian uh, Filippi and his protest, the man who uh, is basically a Trump supporter but and says the election was fraudulent, but in a, a kind of discombobulated uh, uh, message says he wants everyone to get along. So... Uh, but for now, at least, uh, a bit of his protest coming to an end. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.